Hello guys, this is NP Chan. Welcome to my mathematics class. Today I have taken problems based on permutations. These are very important problems I have taken from the examination point of view. Today I will explain okay, these questions. I will tell you uh, the matter, how to find out the solution of these three questions. Okay, these three are very very important questions according to the examination point of view. Okay, so let's see the equation number one. Let's move into the question number one. Question number one is this one. Let's read. In how many ways, we want to find out, in how many ways can the let, okay, letters of the word calculus? We have a calculus. C-L-U, okay, L-U-S, calculus. In how many ways can the letters of the word calculus can be arranged so that the two C's do not come together? Here is also one more condition. Two C's do not come together. Firstly, we will find out two C's come together. Number of arrangements in which two C's come together. Let's see, okay. And in how many ways can the letters of the word be arranged so that Two C's do not come together. All right. So let's find out firstly total number of arrangements. Okay. What will be the your total number of arrangements? Of total number of arrangements. What you will get? Total number of arrangements. Let's see how many letters are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight letters. Okay. How many letters are there? Eight. Okay, eight letters. Okay, but all are not different. Okay, right? Uh, are they all different? Okay, we would have taken only eight factorial, right? But uh, so we use here permutations of objects, but not all uh, different, right? Permutations of object, but not all different. So here we have formula eight factorial. So let's see how many C are there to C. Okay, how many two C's? Two uh, L's and uh, two U's. Okay, two U's. There are okay, two C's and uh, two L's and two U's and remaining are different. So we need to use this formula yeah, N factorial upon P factorial, Q factorial, R factorial. P, Q are the numbers of repeated letters respectively here. If we suppose this one P, Q or then we can write on here 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial, right? Okay, this will give you, this will provide you the total number of arrangements of the letters of the word calculus total, okay? So 8 factorial and the here you will get to okay, 8 factorial by using calculator also you can do otherwise okay 8 7 6 5 4 and the year 3 2 1 this is a 8 factorial <coughs> 8 factorial or uh, 2 here simply 2 factorial means 2 okay 2 times 1 so 2 2 factorial 2 into 2 simply because 2 factorial is going to 2 times 1 simply 2 we will get okay 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 okay so we can remove it and you will get here calculation 7 okay 7 6 of 42 5 4 is 20 here 20 or uh, 6 of 120 and 42 42 and a 4 0 okay 12 12 fours are here, you will get, okay, just to find out, 12 fours are, okay, uh, remove 10 later, you can do, you have 120, so you will get, okay, directly, uh, 0, and here, 12 fours are, 12 twos are 24, and 12 are 48, 48, 50, right, 
so here we will have okay five zero four zero so how many arrangements we can make how many arrangements are there uh, for the letters of the word calculus if you reshuffle the letters of the calculus then you can reshuffle in five zero four zero ways you can get five zero four zero arrangements right or oh, in this case okay we have okay some letters like this way or uh, c c a l uh, okay, U L U S. Okay, you have to see together, right? And uh, you might have uh, this type of letters also. You have to see together. These are the arrangements of in which to see come together, right? But question we we want to find out, okay? The arrangements in which okay two C's do not come together. Okay, let's find out. This is the total arrangements in which okay two C's are there, two C's are not also there, right? Okay. So let's find out. Okay, firstly, okay, uh, in order to find out uh, the arrangements, uh, right? Arrangements uh, that uh, do not contain your two C's together. Two C's. Uh, so we have to find out firstly two C's come together, right? In order to find out this uh, uh, result, we have to find out firstly number of arrangements in which two C's come together because this is easy and. Uh, so we in this case okay we'll say two C's okay we consider consider as one letter right a single letter we can suppose okay right two C's okay consider as a one letter or single letter then your number of okay or uh, number of letters or uh, becomes your what will be the number of letters number of letters okay one two okay two c's okay we have supposed okay two c as a one letter then okay your one two three four five six seven eight okay total is eight okay two c we have suppose one okay now it seven okay we will have right because there are total eight letters and two c's we have supposed single letter then okay all number of letters gonna be seven right seven no problem now let's find out okay uh, here number of arrangement a uh, number of uh, arrangements in which two C's come together two C's come together two C's come together with seven factorial upon two C's we have supposed as a single letter now okay okay now now we have okay two L so two factorial so there are two U's and so two factorial right and now we can find out okay, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 upon 2 here yeah. okay simply you write down 2 factorial means 2 2 factorial is also and 2 so 2 2 2 4 we can cancel right and uh, you will have you can okay 3 2 is a 6 6 5 is a 30 okay and uh, 30 and we have a 42 Seven six are forty two, and here zero three two is a six four three is a twelve, and we will get to be twelve sixty. Okay, how many arrangements we can get in which two C's come together? Twelve sixty. This is our total arrangement, total number of arrangements of the letters in the word calculus, and this is the arrangement in which two C come together only. Now it's very easy to find out, okay? Because two C both are identical, same, okay? C two C C C. So, so it is okay, not distinguishable if they interchange their C. So that's why we don't find out, okay? This is your okay total number of arrangements in which two C come together, all right? And this is the total number of arrangements of the letters of the word calculus. Okay, this is the number of arrangements of the letters of the word calculus in which two C's come together. Because in this case, okay, we have supposed to see as a single letter and then two C wherever they will they will, they will go, they go together, right? And 1260. Now now we can get the answers of this letter. So uh, this okay statement, what will be the answers of this statement? Okay, the calculus PR is so that the he two C's do not come together. So total arrangement we have okay. Uh, 5040 and 2 C's come together uh, 1260 and if you subtract you will get 0 14 minus 6 uh, 8 and uh, here mm, okay uh, so 9 9 minus 2 okay uh, 50 so ok 
okay or uh, 0 and 4 in the okay 4 in minus 6 8 and uh, here 10 minus uh, 2 can uh, yeah a 40 no no we have okay 49 here 9 to 7 here 4 and uh, you will get 3 okay 3 3 7 or uh, 8 0 3 7 8 0 we got calculation right okay so uh, by doing okay by okay if we subtract the 1260 from 5040 we get 3780 so how many uh, arrangements we can get in which two c's do not come together 3780 3780 will get this will be your final answer so I think now you have a problem, you understood this question, how to find out the errors is one of the important questions in permutations, okay? So you can't ignore this question at any cost. If you ignore, again, let me remind, okay, marks will ignore you, okay? Let's move into the next question. Next very important question. So one done, so I'm going to expunge this question from the board. Question number second. Let's move into the question number second. Let's read okay. In how many ways can the letters of the word logic? So this is logic be arranged so that the vowels may occupy all position. What a wonderful question. Very wonderful question. Okay. We want to find out the arrangements of the vowels may occupy all position, right? Uh, in the word logic. Okay, let's see, okay. Uh, let me write on the logic, okay, here, here, okay. Uh, if I write here, okay, then I can't get this piece there to write down the remaining portions of this uh, uh, question's answer. Logic. This is the word logic. Okay, let's uh, give the numbers to uh, the letters of the logic from the left side. It doesn't matter. Okay, you may uh, even give from the uh, right side, uh, left side or right side. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm okay from right to left. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, right. So there are five letters. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There are five letters. And here the vowels may occupy odd position, right? Odd position means, okay, let's suppose, okay, one and two and three, okay, right? These are the odd positions, okay? How many odd positions are there? Three, okay, how many odd positions are there? So, right? Odd position three, there are, okay, odd position three. One, we have this one, one, two, three. Odd numbers, odd position, five, okay, odd numbers, so odd position. So here, okay, one, two, three. There are, okay, three odd positions. And uh, first question is, the vowels may occupy odd position. Let's see now how many vowels are there. Odd position, three. And uh, vowels, how many vowels are there? O and I. These, okay, there are two vowels, okay. Uh, I and O, two vowels we have. Two vowels, okay. Number of vowels, okay. Two. Now we have to arrange okay, two vowels in three positions, okay. So in how many ways we can arrange, okay. Listen to me. The first vowel, okay, can be arranged in three position in three ways. Are you understanding? So let's suppose okay, simply, okay, one, two here, and uh, one is here, right? So here one, two, three. Uh, we have two vowels and uh, two vowels for first okay, for first vowel. Okay. How many choices are there? You can either okay occupy this one or this one or this one. Okay. For first vowel we have a three position three uh, choices and the second vowel we have okay if one one will take definitely one space one box okay then remaining we will have uh, two boxes and for second vowel we have two ways okay for first three ways for second okay two ways so total number of ways okay three times two right so you know how many ways we can arrange okay uh, two vowels in three position look at here uh, two vowels 
in or uh, three positions can be arranged in your three two ways all right so that is okay it will come okay or uh, three factorial upon three minus two factorial uh, it's gonna be three factorial upon one factor is equal to three factorial is equal to three times two times one is equal to six ways I mean, two vowels in three positions can be arranged in six ways. Now, look at here, okay. Uh, uh, there are, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Right? And three, uh, two vowels and three consonants, okay. Ultimately, okay, two vowels will uh, occupy only two places, two positions, okay. Then remaining positions of the he word logic, logic uh, who will occupy the constants in how many ways, okay. So, remaining... Uh, remaining positions or uh, remaining or three or simply okay, letters you can write uh, remaining letters remaining three letters we have or three means okay now uh, consonants we have okay uh, consonants how many consonants are there L J and C there are three consonants right so remaining three letters can be arranged in so definitely okay three letters we need to arrange in three positions right because okay uh total okay how many positions are there five one two three four five five positions are there well there are two vowels vowels ultimately will occupy two positions and then we will have three three, three letters three remaining letters and three positions so remaining three letters can be uh, arranged right in three factor because taken all Right, we have one formula, okay. Uh, arrangement of n objects taken all means n factor. Here also, okay. Uh, three letters, three positions, we can say, okay, taken all at a time means, okay, remaining three letters can be arranged in three factorial ways, okay. Uh, that is, okay, three times two times one. It's gonna be six ways. Okay? So, total, therefore, okay. Now, answer of this question means, uh, now you can write down the uh, answers of this question A. Now, okay, till now, okay, we, uh, we have just completed the first part of the second question. Answer, what is the answer? Letters of the word logic be arranged so that the vowels, now, vowels, okay. So, you may write down like this, but the number of, okay, arrangements, right? Uh, arrangements of the letters of the word logic in which the vowel may occupy odd position is equal to your 6 times 6, okay. So, 36 ways. So, 36 ways, okay, we can arrange, right? 36 ways, okay, so what's the answer of this? 36, so this is the correct answer, right? So for first part, answer is 36. Let me remind you again, okay, very important question. Keep watching uh, very carefully. You have not to leave even single minute of this video, right? Otherwise, okay, you will lose the marks. Be careful. And now let's move into the second uh, part of this question. No two vowels are together. So just now we have done one more question, right? One, one already we have done one question. Uh, no two uh, C's together. In last question here, no two vowels are together. Let's say, how to find out? Uh, okay, uh, so total arrangement. Let's see the total number of arrangements firstly. Because, okay, uh, Bobby, how many letters are there? Logic, okay. Now, let's move into the second part. Two, no two bobbles are together. No two bobbles are together. So, one, two, three, four, five. All are different, okay. The, okay, total arrangements. What will be your total arrangements is equal to one, two, three, four, five, five factorial, right? Five factorial means five times, four times, three times, two times, one is equal to five, four, so twenty. 3 to the 6, 26 to 120, right? So, how many um, ways, in how many ways we can arrange the letters of the word logic? Okay, 120. So, total arrangements we will get 120. We will have total arrangements for the letters of the word logic 120, right? So, this is the 120, okay? In this, we may have two vowels together and in some, we may not have vowels together. But we want to find out those, those only in which two, uh, two okay, vowels are not together, right? So, you know, right, okay, always, if we have to find out the answers of this, or uh, we choose, okay, first we find out, okay, two vowels 
together, okay? Because it's such easy process. Let's find out the two vowels together. Vowels, okay? O and I. And these two vowels we have to consider, consider as single letter. Okay. Now you understood? So no problem. You have consider as single letter, right? Now O and I. If we consider okay single letter, okay then total number of letters. How many total numbers of letters you will have? Okay, four. Firstly, we have okay, we have five. Now, okay, if we suppose okay, I and O, then we will have a four letters, right? And you know, right? Okay, these four letters can be arranged in four factorial ways, right? Four factorial ways. These okay, right? If we suppose okay, I and O together, they will move okay. Uh, wherever they go, okay, but together, right? If we suppose single. And uh, now again, okay, four pack, four letters. We can suppose it. Uh, we can uh, uh, arrange in four factorial ways. But I and O are distinguishable letters, right? Or uh, they are different, okay? Quite different, okay? So if okay, I, uh, I and O, they can interchange their positions. I and O can interchange positions in two factorial ways. In how many ways they can interchange their position in two factorial ways because okay there are two C's two letters okay so definitely they will interchange their position in two factorial ways so okay now we are put the number of arrangements in which number of arrangements in which two C okay two vowels two vowels come together come together we have a word okay come together Four factor A times two factor A is going to be four factor four times three times two times one times okay simply two and uh, you're going to get this one four is a two twelve two is a twenty four twenty four two is a forty eight right in forty eight ways okay forty eight ways you can find out okay or in how many ways okay vowels come two vowels come together in forty eight ways okay we can get two vowels come together right. Two vowels, two vowels together. Now we don't be want okay. No two vowels come together. So that's why it's simple okay. Here okay, logic in total okay, one twenty arrangements and uh, two C's come together. Forty eight. Now to find out the answers of this, what you will do okay? Uh, one twenty minus forty eight. So ten minus eight two eleven minus seven. So seventy two ways okay, right? So in how many ways okay we can? No two vowels come together. Okay, in seventy two ways we can uh, arrange in which no two vowels come together, right? No two vowels are together. So clear? So simple. Okay, very simple, right? So answer of this we have a given. Now I don't think you have a problem. If you have problem, don't hesitate, right? To write down. Okay. Uh, so let's see the C C three three. So third part of this question. Third part of this question is very easy. Now look at here. Or uh, stay with this video. Also, uh, definitely you will be benefited. So two C is very simple. Okay, the relative positions of the vowels and consonants are not changed. Okay, or uh, they can be. Okay, letters can be arranged. Okay, but relative positions of uh, uh, we have not to change. Okay, relative positions of vowels and consonants. Look at here. L O G I C. Okay. So these are the positions for vowels, okay? Because okay, uh, you have not to change the relative position law. These are the positions for consonant. These are the positions for vowels. So there are okay two positions for vowels and three positions for logics, okay? So two vowels, okay? Two vowels and uh, your or two vowels can be arranged in. Two factorial because okay they can be interchanged here and there right so they can't take the position of the consonant because here according to the equation uh, your relative position of the vowels and consonants are not changed uh, so okay two vowels can be arranged in two factorial ways and similarly three consonants right three consonants can be arranged in three factorial ways right so in how many ways we can arrange. Uh, with this condition, uh, so total okay, you will have the relative position uh, of the e vowels and consonant are not changed. Okay, the number of arrangements you, you can write down like this way: the number of arrangements of the letters of the word logic 
in which the relative position of the vowels and consonant are not changed is equal to 2 factorial times 3 factorial. You understood 2 factorial? Because 2 uh, vowels can uh, interchange their position in 2 way, factorial ways and 3 consonants can interchange their in 3 factorial ways, right? 2 times 1 times 3 times 2 times 1, right? And 3 to the 6, 6 to the 2. Way. So this is the final answer for this part of this question. Alright? So easy. Well, if you pay attention, if you go through each and every uh, video made by me, definitely you will understand, okay? I'm going to explain uh, in easy way, alright? So, let's see uh, today's last question. Uh, very interesting last question is also very important question last question. Okay, now I'm going to explain. Oh, in easy way, very very easy way. Okay, we can arrange. Okay, so there are okay many parts in this question. In how many ways uh, can the letters of the word Monday be arranged? Okay, so simple. Okay, Monday. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, how many letters? All are different. Okay, right. So if all are different, okay, M one two three four five six. So how many letters are there? Okay, or uh, we have six letters. Okay. Six letters. So officially six letters can be arranged in six factorial ways, right? Because taken all at a time, okay. You can say like this. So in how many ways, okay? What will the answers of this one, okay? The we can find out, okay, right? The letters in how many ways, okay? The total number of ways or uh, in which the letters of the word Monday can be arranged six factorial, right? Or a number of arrangements of the letters of the word Monday. You can write on like this also okay, for the first part. Uh, the total number of arrangements of the letters of the word Monday uh, is equal to 6 factorial. Right? 6 factorial, you know, 6 times, 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1. This is by definition of the factorial. Uh, 4 3 is like 2 well, 22 is like 24, 24 5 is up. 120, 24, 5, I guess 120 and 120 times 6, so 720. 6, 5 is a 30, 34 is a like this, also 34 is a 120, 120, 6 is a 720. 720 ways, right? We can arrange the letters of the word Monday in 720 ways, like uh, sometimes we go A, O here, M here, sometimes N here, O, M here, like this with 720. Arrangements we can get all right. So I think you clear no problem. Now let's see the second part. Okay, how many of these arrangements do not begin with M? All right, in this way, okay, many begin with M. Okay, many okay here. Okay, begin with M, begin with O, begin with N. And if we want to find out how many of these arrangements do not begin with M, let's find out firstly begin with M, right? Okay, so if we have to okay. And uh, okay, uh, in order to find uh, arrangements, arrangements of letters of the word Monday, we begin with M. Right, like this also. Uh, in order to find the arrangements of the letters of the word Monday, which begin with M, what we do? Okay, uh, we fix M at first and right. We fix okay M at first okay. Just okay, fix okay M here. Let me write down again M O N D A Y. Just fix okay M here, right? And the remaining letters okay. We fix the M at first. And the remaining letters can be arranged in how many ways? Remaining 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we have 5. Okay, so remaining 5 letters can be arranged in 5 factorial ways. Listen to me very carefully. I'm not going to write each and every word here. So, okay, we fix okay M at first, just fix it again okay, because we want to find out uh, the arrangements which begin with M, right. Fix the M at first and remaining five letters can be arranged in five factorial ways, right? So five factorial ways is equal to uh, five times four times three times two times one. 
Five four zero twenty twenty six. Okay. Uh, twenty to sixty, sixty one, one twenty ways, right? So here, how many one twenty ways we can find out, right? Which begin with them, okay? But we we need okay. How many of these arrangements, okay? Do not be, begin with them, okay? Here, okay, begin with them, begin with okay, O oh, and uh, here, okay, it okay arrangement may begin with M, D, okay. This oh, total arrangement. This is a total arrangement seven twenty. Yeah, this is the arrangement in which begin with M. So okay, what will be the answer of this one? And arrangements okay do not begin with M okay. So begin with all, begin with M okay. So seven twenty minus one twenty just. Ah uh, okay, you will get okay here six hundred. So this is the answers of this portion here okay six hundred arrangements will get okay which okay ah uh, arrangements okay having. Or uh, having no start with them, right? Okay. So another way also, if you don't want go with this, you can suppose like this. Where here M O how, how many? Okay, places are there? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have a six, right? So directly also you can find out. Okay, see. How can we find out? We, ah, uh, which we we want to find out how many of uh, these arrangements do not begin with and do not begin with M. Okay, so here, okay, ah, uh, except M, except M, because we we want to start with do not begin with except M. You can use any letter, okay, O N D A Y. Another method, okay, second alternative. You can use okay if you want to directly find the answer of this. You can use okay any letter, okay, except M. So how many letters are there? One, two, three, four, five. So first, okay, except M, okay, you can use, okay. So how many? Five ways you can use, right? You can use, okay, O or N or D. You may start, okay, with A or start with Y. Well, you have not to start with M, all right? So in how many ways you can start, okay? If you will not take M, five ways. And here no restriction. You may, okay, it doesn't matter, okay, whether I am here or here. So then thereafter, okay, how many? One will be packed here. Okay, then remaining we will have okay one two three four five six six letters one will be used here then remaining okay five letters okay again okay so remaining five positions are there five okay five letters can be arranged remaining five letters can be arranged in five factorial ways right so total okay total number of arrangements okay uh, arrangements do not begin with m is equal to five times five factorial is equal to five times five factorial one twenty So you will get six hundred directly answer, right? Six hundred. Okay. This way also you can do. So I have told you the two methods. As you wish, you want to go with the first one or a later one. No problem. Okay. Let's see the last part. Oh, uh, in easy way we can. So last part, how many of these arrangements do not begin? All right, done. So how many begin with M and do not end with Y? We have okay. See very carefully, okay. Let me tell you by one method, simply. Okay. See Monday. So we have a condition, okay. How many begin with M? Do not end with Y. Begin with M. All right. So let's fix, okay. Here, okay. We have one, two, three, four. Five six boxes are made okay to represent the letters of the money. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. Right? No problem. So okay, we want to get the arrangement which begin with M. Okay, let's fix here. Or uh, fix M here. All right. So you can uh, right uh, arrange okay. I mean one way is first okay. Let's fix okay. No problem. Right? Let's fix okay. And here now remember. Begin with them, all right. So if you fix them here, you 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 just okay arrange okay remaining letters. Always you will get okay begin with them, with them, right? No problem. And uh, with them, and do not end with Y. So last letter okay condition you have to see here. Okay, we we don't want okay Y at last. So here okay one letter is gone okay. I'm okay. We have taken here. I'm right. We have fixed okay. Fixed letter I'm okay. Ah, uh, fix I'm here right. And then okay Y. Okay, except y. Okay here, except y. You can take okay. You can take any. 
any one of uh, one two three four any one of four letters we have four letters o n d a so anyone you can take any one of four letters either you can choose your o or n or d or a you can't take y right because we want to get okay do not end with y and m because m we have fixed okay m at first okay so that's why so in how many ways okay we can fill up okay this one we can fill up in four ways here we can fill up okay this place in four ways last place we can fill up in four ways now remaining okay so remaining there is no restriction two letters gone m is gone here out of okay four one will okay gone here and one will be taken here so remaining four letters one two three four okay so four letters okay remaining of uh, four letters uh, can be arranged in four factorial ways right so four factorial ways remaining four okay letters okay can be arranged in four factorial ways because there are four positions so four factorial ways okay right so remaining four letters can be arranged in four factorial and fixed in one way because you can say okay the first letter can be arranged in only one way because we have a fixed okay you can write down like this right and the last position can be arranged in four ways then move into the last okay of four ways right? first okay one way and the last okay four ways and uh, okay middle one four okay positions all right or remaining four letters can be arranged in four factorial ways right there are remaining okay four letters and there are four positions so four letters can be arranged in four factorial ways right uh, okay so let's calculate what you will get okay four four three two one four was a sixteen right or uh, sixteen three is a uh, forty eight forty two is a ninety okay I think okay ninety eight okay well, let me check okay four four is a sixty uh, okay sixteen three okay three is a six okay and six six uh, okay okay one one minute okay and uh, here calculation mistake I think I have done so four four is a sixteen six is a ninety six okay I think not ninety eight okay right so ninety six okay ninety six ways okay sixteen six is a ninety six you can calculate okay if you have a problem with six is a thirty six and okay and nine nine okay now verify okay right uh oh in how many ways we can arrange uh, right uh begin with okay arrangement in which okay uh the arrangement so okay begin with m and do not end with y in ninety six ways all right so you may write down like this way okay so how to write down okay if you have any problem uh in order to find out the number of arrangements begin with m and do not end with y we fix the first position by m that is okay first position can be arranged in one way and the last position can be okay you know in last position any one of okay uh, four letters that is o and d a right uh, can be taken so last position can be filled up in four ways and the remaining simply remaining okay four letters can be rem, uh, four letters can be arranged in four factorial ways right so therefore total number of arrangements begin with m and do not be y is equal to one times four times four time okay one times four times four factorial is equal to 96 so this is the final answer okay answer of the final part of this question so i think you enjoyed uh, i think you have no problem if you have any problem don't hesitate to ask question i'm ready uh, to help you always 25 times 7 okay uh, thank you very much for watching bye bye